everybody, it's Sharon. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have for you my second Valentine's Day collaboration video. And these are the nails that I did in the second collaboration. And I did this one with Frances Fawcett. And here is a picture of the nails that she did for our collaboration. She's also known as Bobby Dazzler Beauty. And I will list all of her information down below in the description box. So please make sure that you take the time to visit her channel and see this beautiful design and how she did that as well. So I started out for you with red and pink nails. And on my pinky, I put a um, matte top coat on. And the reason why I did that was because I wanted to try something a little different. And I'm actually using the top coat, the no white top coat and a dotting tool. And I'm actually drawing a heart with the top coat. If I did that with my nails as they were, you wouldn't be able to see it because the top coat is shiny and you wouldn't be able to see the difference. So by putting the matte top coat on there first and then applying the no wipe top coat on top, you can see the difference and see where I'm applying the no wipe top coat. So after I did that, I went in with my, I cured that in the lamp for 30 seconds and then I went in with um, Born Pretty's gold powder and I used their um, sponge, eye sponge, it, kind of the same thing. But um, I went in and used that and applied the gold to my nail and it actually came out really nice. So there's not a huge transition between the two and you'll see later on that I decided to outline it in white just to kind of make it stand out a little bit more. But you can definitely see that where the heart is where I apply the no white top coat that it is gold. So that is what that looks like. And that was a fun process to do. So, you know, if you have a matte top coat and if you have a gel light, they're really inexpensive nowadays. Get the LED light and experiment with that. It was actually a lot of fun doing that. And these plates are from Light in the Box. Um, I will try to find the seller. It was not on the paperwork that I got when I received it in the mail. So. Um, if I can find it, I will link that below in the description box. But um, it was kind of hit or miss. As you can see, this one came out beautifully. Um, I did have a hard time. I had originally wanted to do a different design and then went with the doves with the heart in the center. And um, some of the designs, I don't know if they're not etched all the way, but I did have a hard time with some of them coming up. So... Um, hence all the paint that you see all over my hands. But um, the doves came out okay. I did have to go in and kind of fill in some missing pieces. But this is the Born Pretty plate. And this one I had no problems with. Their plates are all really great. And they stamp really nicely. So um, this one, as you see, I went in with the pink stamping polish. And... Um, this design in one take came out beautifully. So um, the Born Pretty plates I highly recommend. The Light in the Box I'm kind of on the fence with. As I said, it's very hit or miss. So, But Born Pretty I've never had any problems with their plates or with their stamping polish. So as you can see that design came out really nicely and perfectly as well. So here is, as I was telling you before, where I went back and decided to outline the heart and I'm actually as you can see instead of using a detail brush I'm using a fountain pen and I saw this done on Nail Career Education channel she uses a fountain pen in a few of her designs and I just thought that it would be something really cool to try and uh, I ordered this one from Michaels and um, actually, no, I'm sorry. They do sell them at Michael's, but I ended up ordering it from Amazon and I will, um, have that link below for you also. It was like half the price on Amazon and it was the same exact set. It came with the different heads that you can put on there. So, um, 
it's different. It was interesting, um, you know, to use. There is a little bit of a learning curve with it, um, but I enjoyed using it. I will probably sometimes use that and sometimes use the detailing brush. So there is those three designs finished. And then I went in with my crystal katana and some pink mini crystals that I think I also got these from Light in the Box as well. And as you can see, I'm having a bit of a hard time picking them up. I don't think it's the crystal katana's fault because on all of my other gemstones, I don't have ever have a problem picking them up. Um, I really think that the light in the box, they're very inexpensive and I have a feeling that that caused some of the problems that I was having here. So, and as you can see, the crystals aren't super shiny or anything. So, um, I mean, it worked for the purpose of the video, but if I were to be doing this for a special evening, I would definitely spend the money and get some better crystals. Definitely would be worth it. Um, but for something like this, as I said, they're perfectly fine. So there is my crystal heart and I thought that did come out really cute and um, something that you might want to give a try if you have a special evening. So there's those completed designs. And then for my thumb, I decided to just go in and do a little pattern of hearts and again using the fountain pen I just went in and drew some hearts on there and then I filled them in afterwards. Um, by the way I'm using um, acrylic paint for this so the stamping designs I used stamping polish and for the hand drawn things I'm using acrylic paint so just to differentiate between the two. And there's the next heart. And then as I said, I went in and I filled them in first with white and it looked okay, but it just seemed a little blah. And since I had some pink on my other nail, I decided after I had filled them all in with the white, I thought that it would look some, you know, pretty to add some of that pink in there and kind of pull everything together. So you'll see in a moment that I go in and add some of the pink in there. So there it is all white. And here's the pink. And again, this is acrylic paint that I'm using. And I left some of the white outline so that just gives it a little bit of texture there showing the white and the pink. And I thought it looked really cute with having the white and the pink on there. So there is the completed design. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you learned something. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and make sure that you are subscribed so that you will get notifications of my upcoming videos. And make sure that you check out Francis's channel in my description box. I will have the link. Please check her out. Her videos are fantastic. And thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Take care.